Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Bridger deploys aircraft to support wildfire battles. 2024 Collier Trophy goes to Parker Solar Probe Team. The 2025 Sun & Fun Innovation Preview is on its way. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Bridger deploys aircraft to support wildfire battles. Bridger Aerospace, one of the nation's largest aerial firefighting companies, has deployed several aircraft to actively support wildfire containment efforts in Oklahoma and New Mexico. Two CL-415 EAF Super Scooper aircraft flew to Oklahoma on March 11th to join a multi-mission aircraft, and one MMA was dispatched to New Mexico to begin operations there to enhance the state's firefighting response capabilities. Sam Davis, CEO of Bridger Aerospace, said, quote, our hearts are with the people of Oklahoma as they face these devastating fires, which have tragically led to fatalities, numerous injuries, and the destruction of hundreds of homes, ranches, and properties. We stand in solidarity with affected communities and remain committed to supporting wildfire management agencies across the U.S. through the deployment of critical resources, including our scoopers and multi-mission aircraft." End quote. The super scoopers in Oklahoma are utilized to directly support ground crews battling multiple fires through the use of aerial water drops. The ground crews are helping protect communities and critical infrastructure in the areas affected by the fires. The MMA in Oklahoma has been stationed there since February under a contract with the Bureau of Indian Affairs. The MMA was dispatched to New Mexico as an extension of the same contract. After the break, respected airshow pilot killed in Impala jet crash. Meet the first of a new generation of the M-Class family. The M700 Fury. An aircraft worthy of the name and indomitable force. The M700 Fury transcends traditional limits with more power, blistering performance, a finely appointed interior, and the luxury of what matters most, time. Experience the Fury. Join the legacy. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Respected airshow pilot killed in Impala jet crash. An Impala Mark I jet crashed on March 22nd during South Africa's West Coast airshow. The pilot, airshow veteran James O'Connell, made seemingly no attempt to eject and was killed on impact. The West Coast Air Show was held on March 21st and 22nd at the Seldana Bredenburg Municipal Airport in South Africa's West Coast Peninsula. It's typically a highly popular event, drawing in thousands of spectators for a weekend of more than 20 aviation performances and competitions. EAA's Aviation Museum achieves AAM reaccreditation. EAA's Aviation Museum has once again secured its place among the elite ranks of museums nationwide by earning reaccreditation from the American Alliance of Museums. This distinction is held by only about 1,100 of the estimated 33,000 museums in the U.S. AAM accreditation is the highest recognition a museum can achieve in the U.S., requiring a rigorous evaluation process at least once a decade. Museums must undergo a year-long self-study followed by an on-site review by peer evaluators. China claims 6th Gen Stealth Fighter in video. A state broadcaster in China announced the release of what it claimed to show a test flight of China's newest, most advanced stealth fighter jet. The announcement comes just a few days after President Trump announced the start of an American next gen fighter aircraft. It's the first time the Chinese aircraft, referred to as the J 36 in domestic media, has been seen in media reports since its maiden test flight was shown by Chinese Communist Party run media in December 2024. China Central Television aired the footage on March 23rd. FAA seeks pilots for research study at Sun and Fun. The FAA is seeking pilots attending Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo 2025 to participate in a paid research study. You must be 60 to 64 years old, have flown at least once in the past six months, sim time is okay too, and hold a current Class 3 medical certificate, not basic med. 
The study session lasts about four hours and pays $300, which you receive immediately following completion. The study procedure involves completion of two computerized cognitive tests related to tasks such as working memory, attention, and multitasking performance. That's it for today's Trip Around the Patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. 2024 Collier Trophy goes to Parker Solar Probe Team. The National Aeronautic Association awards the annual prestigious Romper J. Collier Trophy for the greatest achievement in aeronautics or astronautics in America during the preceding year, and the 2025 award will be bestowed on the Parker Solar Probe Team. The team was led by NASA and the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, who will receive the award on June 12, 2025 in Washington, D.C. The Parker probe ventured deep into the sun's corona, achieving its closest approach on December 24, 2024, when it reached an altitude of just 3.83 million miles above the solar surface. This is seven times closer than any other probe has operated. Amy Spowart, president and CEO of NAA, said, quote, As the oldest national aviation organization in the U.S., the NAA's awards are the most prestigious and sought after in the industry. The Collier Trophy is a recognition like no other, and the Parker Solar Probe team's achievement in earning the 2024 Collier is an extraordinary example of determination, genius, and teamwork. It's our distinct honor to acknowledge and celebrate the remarkable team that turned the impossible into reality, end quote. Parker also set a new record as the fastest human-made object in history with a peak speed of 430,000 miles per hour, three times faster than anything previously. After these messages, 2025 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview is on its way. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. The 2025 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview is on its way. The 51st Annual Sun and Fun Aerospace Expo is proud to present as the lead-in to the aviation year via its partnership with the Aero News Network, the upcoming 2025 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. The aviation world is driven by new developments in technology, design, and innovation, and focusing the entire Aeroverse at the beginning of the year on all that is cool, interesting, innovative, important, and pivotal is the ultimate aim of the 2025 Sun and Fun Innovation Preview. This live, intense, rapid-fire news event offers a chosen number of Sun and Fun exhibitors an opportunity to take center stage and show the aviation world why they deserve to be called an aviation innovator. Each innovation presenter will be featured in individual, no more than four-minute snippets, one per company, and will feature only Sun and Fun exhibitors and vendors with new products and programs to announce or otherwise to be seen for the first time in 2025. The SNF IP starts at 1600 Eastern on March 31st and will feature 20-plus presenters. You can watch it live at airborne-live.net. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.